I looked in the bucket and I think what I pushed looked like a transparent ball. What? I will never mistreat and I will never have children. Hey guys, welcome to Uktuala and Witchcraft channel. My name is Peggy. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. You turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. My married boyfriend took my room and paid me 27,000 rand. Hi admin, on Wednesday I asked you to post for me anonymous. I was actually seeking help concerning bleeding after doing the deeds. On Thursday evening he called requesting to see me urgently. I allowed him to come over. He asked me if I really wanted to be with him and I said I don't know anymore. He then asked me to spend a night with him since he claims that he'll be gone for about six months and his wife and children went to Limpopo and I agreed. We went to his house. I don't usually sleep over but last night I did. It was quite unusual as we were not used to doing this in his house. After the deeds, the deeds, I bleed as I normally do. It was like he knew that I was about to bleed and he quickly brought a bucket for me to use. He insisted that I empty in it. I was really baffled by that. I wanted to ask him why, but he gave me a nasty look. I felt terrified that I did what he ordered me to do. He held my hand and asked me to push one last time. After the last push, I felt little better. I looked in the bucket and I think what I pushed looked like a transparent ball. What? God knows what it was. He asked his sister to change the bleeding as I wasn't really good. She did and she was like, Woody, take her to the hospital. And he said, Utsabakudu, itwaka like he was chasing his sister in the room. Karibo. I fell in deep sleep after that. In the morning, he gave me 27,000 rand. That's my three months allowance because I received 9,000 from him on a monthly basis. He told me it was for the pain I felt last night. Mm. His sister have a soft spot for me, even when she knows her brother is married. She came to hug me a goodbye and whispered in my ear, Yasibetlela, and don't tell my brother. He dropped me off. So the lady was like, go to the hospital, don't tell my brother. I went to a general practitioner and he referred me to the hospital. The gynecologist checked me and ran some tests and turns out I no longer have a womb. But something has been eating it. Ooh. I will never mistreat and I will never have children. Surprisingly, he came to the hospital and told me he never loved anyone like me. He's been praying for me to leave and I will leave. He doesn't even care if I will, I will not bear kids for him. He will always love me and he will leave his wife for me. What hurts me, Gehore, I didn't even call him to say I'm going to the hospital. I didn't even mention anything about being homeless. The question is, how did he know? 